in this lesson we will discuss few more questions regarding matrices and determinants so in this question we have three matrices a b and d a and b we will use in this question d will come in the next question so first question is a b whole inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse we have to prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side so we will start from a b whole inverse so see a b whole inverse first of all we will solve a and b whatever is inside the parenthesis and see there is no sign between a and b it means there is multiplication we have to multiply so a and b so a we have 4 0 negative 1 and 2 and then b we have negative 4 negative 2 1 and minus 1 and there is no sign so how we will multiply first row with the first column then same row with the second column so 4 multiply by negative 4 and then you have to use positive sign here 0 multiply by 1 and then same row but with second column here negative 1 with negative 4 plus 2 with 1 negative 1 with negative 2 and 2 multiply by negative 1 now here we will it will be negative 16 plus 0 4 plus 2 here is negative 8 plus 0 2 negative 2 so a b this is a b equal to negative 16 this is 6 this is the minus 8 and 0 so this is a b we just multiplied a with b now we have to take the inverse the multiplicative inverse so multiplicative inverse here i will write down the formula a b whole inverse is equal to adjacent of a b divided by a b determinant this is the formula right so we have to find out adjacent of a b and where is a b this is a b this one adjacent or we will say a adjacent of a so adjacent of a i told you how we will take the adjacent see this is our a b we have to switch the position of these two 0 will come up here and negative 16 will go there do not change the sign only the position but for these two we have to change the sign it will be positive 8 and it is negative 6 divided by a b determinant so this is the determinant how i told you how to find out the determinant you have to multiply this diagonal so it is minus 16 multiply by 0 it will be 0 and then minus between this is also minus 6 8 times 48 so 48 is the determinant i will show you here how i did see 16 minus 0 this one you have to multiply these and then is the minus sign and there is another minus minus 8 and 6 minus 8 multiplied by 6 48 so minus minus plus 48 and it is 0 so that is why determinant is 0 now it means that this 48 you have to divide by each and every entry of the adjacent of b it means 0 divided by 48 48 will divide all these elements minus 16 48 sorry minus 6 and this is minus 16 and 48 so it will be 0 8 1 time 8 6 time 1 over 6 and this is minus 1 over 8 
and this is 16 1 times 16 16 3 times negative this and we will say this is 1 or this is the left hand side so this is the left hand side see it's a lengthy question but but very easy so you have to practice it and I am going to write down important if I am writing important it means it is important and you have to practice it so see first of all you have to multiply a and b right we got a and b this matrix matrix and then the question is a b whole inverse so a b whole inverse is equal to adjacent of a b divided by a b determinant so this is the adjacent of a b just change the position right do not change the position of a or b a b this one this one and this one you have to change the sign and determinant of a b cross multiplication first you have to multiply this diagonal then always minus sign will come up then you have to multiply this so minus minus will be plus 48 so this is one right now we have to prove the ref, uh, right hand side which is b inverse a inverse right so b inverse and a inverse now we have to prove right hand side so first of all we will find out b inverse so what is the b inverse is equal to adjacent of b divided by determinant of b so we will write down actually what is b here minus 4 minus 2 1 and minus 1 minus 4 minus 2 1 and minus 1 right we will double check minus minus yes this is b so adjacent of b what is the adjacent of b you have to switch the position of these diagonal it will be negative 1 negative 4 and here you have to change the sign this is sorry, adjacent of B and then determinant of B you have to multiply these two so I will do it here for you determinant of in these are the straight lines minus 4 multiply by minus 1 and then always here minus sign minus multiply by this so it will be 4 1 time 4 and then plus 2 so it is 6 6 so it means negative 1 divided by 6 2 divided by 6 minus 1 divided by 6 minus 4 divided by 6 and then we will simplify it here further it will be negative 1 over 6 1 over 3 minus 2 over 3 it will be minus 1 over 6 so this is the B inverse sorry I will make it a straight line this is a straight line right okay now is this A inverse now we have to find out A inverse so first of all we will write down what is uh, A a is 4 0 minus 1 2 4 0 minus 1 2 so how we will find out a inverse is equal to adjacent of a divided by determinant of a this is the formula and uh, here I will erase this this is a so adjacent of a this is a you have to change the position it is 2 and 4 and 0 and 1 this is adjacent and determinant of a 4 2 times 8 so it is 8 right so here I will do the rest it means that 2 divided by 8 0 divided by 8, 1 over 8 and 4 over 8. So it will be uh, 1 over 4. This is 0, 1 over 8 and 1 over 2. 
so this is a inverse right 1 over 4 0 1 over 8 and 1 over 2 so now you have to multiply b inverse and a inverse so where is the b inverse this one right this is the b inverse or we will say this is suppose a and this is b so we have to multiply it a inverse so it is b inverse and a inverse see is a lengthy question you have to do very neatly and whenever you will see there is a negative sign so you have to be very careful and it seems that it is difficult because the fraction multiplication is involved do not worry about it it is very very easy see 1 over 8 and 1 over 2 same same pattern you have to use first row with the first column so how we will multiply minus 1 over 6 multiply by 1 over 4 this is the first one and then plus 1 over 3 multiply by 1 over 8 here negative 1 over 6 multiply by 0 plus 1 over 3 into 1 over 2 here is 1 over 6 multiply by 1 over 8 plus minus 2 over 3 into 1 over 8 minus 1 over 6 multiply by 0 plus negative 2 over 3 multiply by 1 over 2 see first row with first column then same row with the se second column same thing for this and when we will simplify it it will be negative 1 over 24 it is positive 1 over 24 so they will cancel out each other it will be 0 here right so when you will simplify we will see here it will be 0 and this will be minus 1 over 6 this is 0 and this is 1 over 6 so it will be 1 over 6 it is negative 1 over 3 and it is negative 1 over 8. This is the, we will see second or the right hand side. When we will see the left hand side, it is 0, 1 over 6, negative 1 over 8, negative 1 over 3. When we will see the right hand side, it is equal. It means that we have proved AB whole inverse is equal to B inverse and A inverse. Again, it is a lengthy question. You have to be very careful with the negative signs and you have to do very neatly, right? So this is another question here. Instead of B, you have to use D, but this is same, D, A. First of all, you have to multiply D and A. See, first is D, so you have to write down D first and then A first. You have to multiply whatever the answer will come then you have to write down d a whole inverse is equal to adjacent of d a divided by determinant of d a right you know how to take the determinant you have to multiply whatever is the d a not for this one this one and negative sign and this one adjacent of a you have to switch the position of these two in d a and change the sign of these two same thing first you have to find out a inverse and then b inverse so here i will write down a hint a inverse is equal to adjacent of a divided by determinant of a same thing for b adjacent of d divided by determinant of d whatever the answer of this one whatever the answer of this one you have to multiply each other it should be equal to the left hand side you have to practice it actually i want to involve yourself as well if suppose your answer is not equal try one more time again if it is not equal you can write down in comment section i will solve for you 
but please do not forget to subscribe to my channel sai academy and thanks for watching